but we have the plug so we can mulch. We have the side shoot so we can do side discharge. There's two methods. And then we have the bag here so we can bag clipping. So it's a three in one mower. So why did I get the 40 volt brushless rail be more? This is a 20 inch model. There are other models out there. There are narrower models and there are wider models. And then there are the Whisper series models, which are just too expensive. The Whisper series is about 150 to 200 more than this model is here. And I didn't feel like I needed to go that far. I've read good enough reviews on this brushless one here. It's a little bit of an older model. Last find, only about $400 in on this. The first thing I noticed when I got this more was it is very plasticky, but we're not going to be doing heavy cutting, so I'm okay with that. We'll see how it actually performs later on in the video when we do a little bit of test cutting on my new lawn over on that side, north side of my yard. More here does come with a 6 amp hour battery, it also comes with a fast charger. And the reason I went with the railway brand over any other brand is because I already have the platform, I have my earth auger. You can check that video out, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that video out too. It's a great bit of kit if you've got to dig any post holes. That is an awesome machine that you can use on your own and it does do a really good job of protecting you with the anti kick back feature. To adjust the height on the mower it's really simple, you just pull this lever to the side and it lowers down like that and you can adjust your cutting height, it doesn't have any markings on what the height cut of cut actually is but you can figure that out with a measuring tape and the blade height up the top here you have a setup that's very similar to most mowers you just have to pull the handle in and then you can start up the blades throw the battery in so nothing's starting right now and on the back here you have your speed control for how fast the mower goes and here you can see the difference between the two batteries here's a four amp hour and here's a six amp hour battery there's a considerable size difference. So we've got the bag on, we've got the battery in. I'm using my four ampere battery because it's fully charged, a six ampere battery. I mean, it's open disc, it's not charged, so I need to like, wait on that charging, but we can run with the four ampere battery for now. So let's go look at what I'm going to be cutting and put this to the test. So this is the bit of grass we're going to be cutting. We'll be cutting this side of the rock. That side over there is a little bit newer. So if you do want to check out the video on spring seeding, I will link that in the description below and at the end of this video. So you can check that out afterwards and see how my spring seeding project went. But this grass here grew very, very quickly in the span of a couple of days. So we need to take care of this. There are weeds in here, but I have started treating them. A couple of things that I noticed while using the mower is just how easy it is to start. You don't have to pull any cards, check any oil, fill up with any gas. That was really easy. Next thing, it was a little bit slow for my liking, but this area over here, I was happy about that because it wasn't too large. And then the last thing I noticed was just how fast the mower stopped when I let go of the trigger. That's nice to have the blade slow down that quickly. I also did a very good job of picking up the grass clippings and sending them to the bag, coming from my ride on lawnmower that spits a lot of grass out to the side. I was very impressed with the way this picked up the grass clippings. So there it's got its first mow. You can just see how tall it actually was right there i did leave it a little bit too long but that's a really nice cut there look at that nice sharp blade and this is filled in really well so something that is difficult when you do have a lawnmower like this or a gas specifically like a gas mower is where to store your mower and electric or battery like this makes it really easy so to prep your lawnmower for storage all you can do is turn this handle on the side this one over here, specifically for the Ryobi model, it might be different for other models. Fold it over, walk it back in place, and then you can stand this up. You can clean it off, and then you can, so you can store it up against the wall or a garage door, like this.